Hey parents, welcome back to Camp KW. Today, your kids will learn how to help others know Jesus. What an incredible opportunity that your kids have to not only be able to tell others about Jesus, but to be able to show them his love. Parents, don't forget to check out kingsworldrocks.com for a special video for your preschooler. Okay, kids and parents, let's get started. an incredible song because it goes through the whole story of the Bible and it reminds us that no matter what's going on in our lives, God is bigger, stronger, and mightier than all of it. So I want you to stand up on your feet and sing, My God is so big with us. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. In the beginning, God made everything, God simply spoke. Everybody. I'm Miss Shannon. And I'm Mr. Bill. And welcome, welcome to, to Camp, Camp KW. KW. You know, it's just been an incredible summer. It's been beautiful. We've been able to see God's glory everywhere, everywhere and we've been having lots of fun together. But, wait, whoa, hang on. Oh, wait a minute. What's going on? Oh, What'd you catch? On. Yeah, check whoa. it out. Check it out, Miss Shannon. Looks like we're having salmon for breakfast. Woo! And. It says faith, faith. And that's what we're talking about all month long is faith. And faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. That's right. And sometimes it's hard to have faith, especially when things aren't going your way. But if you look at what God is doing in the lives of your family members, or even in your community or in nature, you can start to see how God is at work. 
One of my favorite places to go to see faith and to gain faith is God's word and see how God has been trustworthy all through scripture. And because of that, I learned that I can trust God no matter what. No matter what. Very yeah. Good. So one of the things that we're going to see today is Paul trusting God no matter what and him sharing God's word with others. Yeah. So let's check out this video, guys. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Acts, chapter 17, verses 16 through 34. Wherever Paul went, he boldly preached the good news of Jesus. This Jesus I'm telling you about is the Messiah. Many Jews and Greeks believed in Jesus, but in nearly every town, a group of Jews would gather to oppose Paul. He and his companions were forced out of Thessalonica, and then later that same group of Jews followed to run Paul out of Berea. Eventually, the believers helped Paul escape to the coast, where he could travel by boat to Athens. Tell Silas and Timothy to join me as soon as they can. Once Paul reached Athens, he walked the streets of the ancient city, disturbed by what he saw, carved and molded statues everywhere. Statues of their gods. The people really believe false gods can help them. In fact, the Athenians believed in around 30,000 false gods. Yeah, they believed these gods were in charge of everything from uh, sports to sleep to doors and cleanliness. A god of grapes. Okay. While Paul waited for his friends, he visited the Jewish synagogue to tell Jews and Greeks alike about Jesus. And in the marketplace, he spoke to anybody who would listen. You have to hear about Jesus. He was killed, but he came back to life. Paul's words stirred up a group of Athenian thinkers. These men felt that they could uh, achieve perfection through knowledge and wisdom. Can you explain what this fellow is chattering about? He seems to be telling us about gods we've never heard of. We shall take this Paul to a meeting of the Areopagus. There, we shall reason it out. Set high on an outcropping of rock, the Areopagus was the high court of Athens. And from this viewpoint, Paul could see all of Athens spread out below him. Closer at hand, the gathered Epicureans and Stoics studied Paul. What is this new teaching you're giving us? You have some strange ideas we've never heard before. Hmm, we would like to know what they mean. <sighs> Paul took a deep breath. These people treated new ideas like playthings, so he wanted to connect the story of Jesus with something they already knew. People of Athens, I see that you are very religious in every way. We are aware of this. Please proceed. Paul recalled a small carved altar he had discovered while exploring the city. As I walked around, I looked carefully at the things you worship. I, I even found an altar with to an unknown God written on it. Now, I'm going to tell you about this unknown God. Paul explained to them that the true God created the entire world and everything in it. He created each individual person with a purpose and an adventure to live. He did it so that people would seek him and find him, even though he is not far from any of us. Preposterous. Continue. Paul knew that these Athenians might listen to the words of their own writers that might actually reflect something of who God is. In him we live and move and exist. As some of your own poets have also said, we are his children. Uh, an interesting point. Paul told them that people are God's children. God is alive and real, not some carved statue or molded from gold. And now by sending Jesus, God was telling everyone everywhere to turn away from the bad things they've done and to follow him. God has proved this to everyone by raising Jesus from the dead. Pre 
preposterous! Fascinating. More like fantasy. Get this joker out of here. No, 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 no. This is new. Uh, fresh. We will hear you speak about this again sometime. A man called Dionysius had been among the crowd at the Areopagus. He hurried to catch up as Paul left. I want to know more about this living God. About Jesus. I can help you, friend. So Paul continued to spread the good news and love of Jesus, and after a short time, Dionysius became a follower of Jesus, as well as a woman named Damaris, and several others. Jesus is the answer for everyone. He's the one God sent to be our savior, our rescuer. Jesus made a way for us to have a relationship with God that will last forever. Wow, what an incredible story. And just like Paul, you can help others know about Jesus. And, and that's so easy to do. You might think, oh, I can't do that, Mr. Bill, but it's real easy. Mm -hmm. It's just telling somebody your experience with Jesus, how he's changed you or what you've learned from him or, or maybe what he's taught your family and how your family has changed because of Jesus. And just remember, it's just as important of your actions because our actions speak louder than words, Ms. Shannon. That's right. And we can learn from the Bible and from how Jesus lived, how to treat others the right way. In King's World, we talk about how we should treat others the way we want to be treated. Yeah, that's right. As we do that, we're showing God's love to others by showing them respect and care and love. Right. And that's what the cool thing is, that it's so easy to treat others the way we want to be treated. That's the way that God wants us to be. God wants us to show the love that Jesus had for us when he came and died on the cross for us. And we should do the opposite, because most people only show love to like their family members mm -hmm. or to their friends, but we want to show love to everyone, everyone that's out there. And we should always remember that, that you, you can, can help, help others, others know, know Jesus. Jesus. Would you all please fold your hands and pray with me today? Dear God, it's so cool to see how Paul was able to tell the people of Athens all about Jesus. Please help us to follow Paul's example and tell the people in our lives about Jesus so they can know him too. What Jesus did for us was truly the best news ever and we want to share it. Give us courage so we can show others what it means to put our faith in you. We love you, and we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. This week, your question is, how can you help others know Jesus? You may wonder, when to talk about this? How about a chat around the dinner table or before bedtime? Friends, we have a super special song that we sing in King's World. And we want moms and dads to experience worshiping together, even with slower songs too. So kids, if you can grab mom and dad by the hand, we're going to stand together and we're going to sing a song that reminds us that we are a child of God. Yeah. 
are many voices that you are going to hear in this world, but we want you to know there is one voice, the voice of God to listen to. You are chosen. You are a child of God. Let's sing that together now. I am chosen, not forsaken. I am who you say I am. You are for me, not against me. I am who you say I am. I am chosen, not forsaken. I am who you say I am. You are for me, not against me. I am who you say I am. I am Hey parents, we've included resources at thechapel.com slash kingsworld to help you continue conversation with your kids about what they learned today.